the return to oneness. Spiritual adept and teacher Matt Kahn tells the story of an event in which he was interacting with one of the audience members. She asked him what she should do about her cancer diagnosis. He said, Can I have your cancer? I would love it. The audience gasped, and she said, I don't want to get you sick. He insisted, Give it to me. And then there was an energy that shot through his third eye. She went to her doctor the next day and found out that 60% of her cancer was gone. He was making the point that by praising or embracing the malady brought it into the oneness. It was the oneness that took it away, and the not having of it was simply the other side of having it. We can get tripped up by the moving back and forth between polarities, thinking something is changing, but it is actually an illusion of a condition cycling back and forth in and out of existence. What traps us on this hamster wheel of duality is the belief that an unwanted condition finally went away, but then returned, only to have a start all over again wishing it would go away. The condition becomes a repeating cycle of suffering, when it manifests, we wish it would go away, and when it does, we fear its return, which then attracts it back again. What we forget to do is to lovingly and enthusiastically embrace both ends of the spectrum. As Khan says, praise it. By embracing and praising an unwanted condition, it is brought into oneness. The very feature that makes a condition unwanted is the separation from oneness. Wanting the unwanted condition collapses the energy wave of polarity that has become rigid and chronic by repeating cycles of remission relief and the dread of return. Every problem has within it its solution. The solution is only accessible by holding both opposing forces that define it as a problem. This situation is causing this unwanted condition. This thinking then puts you on the hamster wheel of wanted versus unwanted because the resolution has become separated from the unwanted condition. The remedy is to praise and embrace the unwanted, which then brings it into oneness with the wanted. Everything is resolved by oneness. This is the native or primal state of life. All apparent chaotic things are in the process of returning to harmony and oneness. And love is the driving force behind this return. This is a true meaning of healing. The return to oneness by praising the separation from it. Praising the separation from oneness becomes a celebration of divine union, resolving the pain, discomfort, fear, and anxiety the separation caused. Conventional hamster wheel thinking keeps us in judgment mode about virtually everything. We are constantly on the lookout for what we don't like, instantly condemning what shows up. There is always something wrong with everything. This wrongness actively separates the person, place, or thing from the harmony of oneness, tossing it back onto the hamster wheel to be despised and ostracized. This is the crux of cancel culture. We recoil from what is wrong and cannot see how it could ever be right. Only an embrace and praise of the wrongness will summon the compassion and the allowance necessary to make it all right for all sides. The rightness or wrongness of anything is a value judgment, creating a freeway on-ramp onto the hamster wheel. Destruction and chaos is a result of judging something as right or wrong. The greater the desire to divine right and wrong, the greater the destruction of harmony. Praising what is wrong allows us to see how it is connected to what is right. All sides are loved and valid in creation. It is only judgment that separates oneness into right and wrong. Allowing the wrongness to be loved and understood restores the wholeness, returning all to oneness. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.